Today's video is long and worth every second. You're going to learn how to heal the cracks in your feet, how to get rid of nail fungus, why I started a YouTube channel, and all the nitty gritty details of making neglected toenails pretty again. So stay tuned. So I have psoriatic arthritis and degenerative disc disease and five years ago I had to have my neck fused and they told me I would never be able to work again. So I swore that if I got better and was able to continue to work that I was going to do my best. You can go ahead and bend your knee and put your foot right there on the cushion um, to try to train and share my experience and all of the information I have in my head just from doing my job for all of the years with other people so they're able to have a successful career like I've had because I've been doing this for 24 years and it's a great career so I hope that other nail technicians out there can benefit from it right that's awesome but obviously you got better, right? Because you're still working. Well, I, the, it doesn't go away. So they, the fusion helped most of the pain in my neck. Okay. I was supposed to have four of my discs fused together, but then I wouldn't have been able to bend my neck at all. And I needed to still have mobility because looking down is yeah, my job right. all day long. So they changed the prism in my glasses. So when I look down, it helps. It, it moves the image upwards. Okay. So that doesn't hurt as bad. But when I have to have the two above, the other two fused, which they told me five years ago, about four years is the limit. So I'm well past that, thank God. And I do everything I'm supposed to do ergonomically to try to prevent any more damage but I have facet arthritis and bone spurs and all kinds of stuff and now I have in my lower back I have one extruding disc four bulging discs bone spurs facet arthritis and stenosis so I I deal with that on a daily basis but what are you gonna do <laughs> not gonna give up Twist your foot a tiny bit there. Yes. I'm thinking, oh my god, this is a good foot. <laughs> well, all I can say is they're gonna look like new feet when we're done. <laughs> that's what a lot of these turkey birds who leave mean comments need to know is that yes. no people are not lazy people right. aren't selfish they're putting other people before their own needs right. and that's what a lot of times happens in life and as they get older they will learn that sometimes you have to put yourself last we have several things happening in the background in order to be able to get off the dead skin around her nails and on the bottom of her feet. I have the callus remover on the bottom of her feet loosening the dead skin and the cuticle remover around her nails dissolving all of that dead skin. I've trimmed the length of the nails with the toenail nippers and now I'm filing the free edge with the stainless steel 
file to remove any rough edges. Well, I get a massage once a week, nice. so today is Wednesday, so it's my massage day. Nice. So I'm getting it right after I do your feet, actually. Okay. You deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just do stretching and yoga, and I'm on a medication for my arthritis, which is an injectable twice a month, okay. and I give myself a shot in the stomach. I'm just limited. I know what my limits are. I can't do, I have to move slow. People say, you're walking like an old lady today. Well, <laughs> you like it. I'm a little bit broken. As the dead skin absorbs the cuticle remover, I need to apply more cuticle remover so I can scrape off the dead skin really easy. If I don't apply more cuticle remover, the skin attached to the nail plate is really hard to move. It just sticks to the nail plate. Out if you are new to my channel, all the tools are available on my online store, and the pedicure kit includes a free ingrown sidewall cleaner as well as the cuticle remover, toenail nippers, cuticle pusher, and the stainless file. Oh, thanks. I don't like to be the girl people feel sorry for, though. So. <laughs> Some of you may have seen this client's big toe in one of the latest compilations and I'm going to try to edit really close so you can get a really good view of how to use the cuticle pusher to scrape off the dead skin. A little earlier you heard her say that this is her good foot and when we get to the other foot you'll understand why. I have seen her three times now and you are not going to believe how amazing her toenails look now after using two of the Imperial Feet foot care products. I'm going to work really hard to try to get all of that stain and dirt out of this area right here, but sometimes when it is so deep down inside that crevice, it has to work its way out. So I get most of it out, but a lot of it is still going to just look like a stain when I'm finished. The surface of these toenails on her right foot really are not in that bad of condition. So I'm using the extra fine cross cut cone bit so this, that you can find you on my online store my and it's just going to buff off any of that discoloration that's on the surface. I use these little white buffers a lot Okay. and this is about the same grit as this. This is an okay. extra fine and so I'm finding it just a little bit easier to manipulate when I do this. So won't hurt you and then if it touch like right now I'm just getting in these little cracks it just feels like, yeah, like a little tickly <laughs> I get a lot of comments about does it hurt and I'm like no 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 do you all know about the random comment game I play on my channel to win one of the tools I use in my videos, all you have to do is leave me a comment. You can just say hello, tell me what you learned, or even what your favorite part of the video was. Everyone that leaves me a comment is entered into a drawing, so be sure you're subscribed so you get the winner notification. I would also really appreciate if you would click the thumbs up to like the video and share the video to help others find my channel. I have so much to be thankful for with people like you who are willing to help me grow my channel. Thank you so much. Part of the community is kids helping their parents, their aging parents, and I'm really happy about that. Right. 
Well, it's a different type of fungus. So there's not just one thing that causes fungus. Okay. So all the different types of fungus, they still eat keratin. And the nail plate is pure keratin. But it's caused by different strains or microorganisms. Yeah, and there are these really long names, but athlete's foot is one of them. And it can get into the toenails. Here I'm just applying some more cuticle remover so I can wipe it away just so I can clean off the area so I can see a little bit better sometimes when all of that dead skin is lying around everywhere. You can't really tell what is still attached and what is not. And then this is called a cuticle lifter and I'm just going around the edges again to see if I can get off any little bits of skin and to clean out from underneath the free edge. Of. I've had a couple from out of state. Wow. I never thought that people would find me on YouTube though and come to me. I, I mean this whole thing I just started as a here I want to share what I know so I can help people. Right. And I've gotten Which I'd love to see what they do do because to me, like, I don't know how you can skip this part. You know what I mean? Yeah, now it needs to recut the nail groove because every single time this nail gets to about right here, okay. it's going to start to get sore. Your nail groove, you know, it goes deep like that. Okay. And after they cut it, then the skin rolls up. Okay. So that's why I never cut the corners of people's toenails like that. Right. You just manage the discomfort on the edge because it just makes it worse. I mean, to, at first it helps a lot. But you have to keep that skin soft so it doesn't hurt. It's more pliable. We're gonna let that soak again so I can see if I can try and get. Like, I wear these black flip flops and then I have of like black Ugg slippers and like the like dyes or whatever like oh yeah they get you know embedded I mean? yeah so the fisher cream because these won't heal if okay. there is dirt embedded in them and i'm allergic to those black flip-flops really so whenever this black gets on my foot my feet instantly crack apart and get sore so you might be allergic to those you might have to get some flip-flops that aren't black okay i don't know yeah I don't normally include this part into the pedicure videos because it just makes them so long, 
but the before and after pictures after one month of this client using the Fisher cream at home were just too amazing to leave this out. So what I've already done is I've rubbed off a lot of the dead skin that the callus remover had dissolved with the towel before I start to file with the angel foot file. The angel foot file is a patented technology it has a coarse side and a fine side and they have these little teeny tiny triangles that file off the dead skin. I've never used a foot file better than this foot file and it comes in three sizes and each size is on my website. Now if you're a licensed nail technician you can buy this file at a discounted price on imperialfeetusa.com. You just have to fill out the verification form to get a password and you will be able to place an order. So, the inside of Uggs are fur. Are fur well, they, they are fur. They're black they're, fur. Oh, it's black. Black fur. Oh, yeah. that's weird. I know. And like I said, you know, like every once in a while, like I work like in my days when I work from home to a social worker. And so I'll go downstairs and, you know, I'll throw them on real quick. I, I mean, I was usually wearing them with socks, but it's summer, so, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever products you tell me to buy, I will buy them. <laughs> <laughs> This is the amazing tangerine scented sea salt scrub and it is fabulous and I just added it in an eight ounce size to my website so you guys can buy it and use it at home. And with this camera angle you can all now see what is making that noise in the background of all of my videos. It is the motor of the pedicure tub that circulates the jets so all of the nice bubbles can massage my clients feet and legs. Okay, you can put your foot back in the water. And this is the not so good foot and you're gonna see some things that you've probably never seen before including a suspected nail fungus on quite a few toenails and some really impacted materials stuck underneath a few of her toenails which miraculously come out after using the nail mycosis solution at home for just one month. I know yet. After I buff off the surface I'll be able to see better. It's a pretty important time saver to remember to apply the cuticle remover on the cuticles before you trim the toenails. This allows the cuticle remover yeah, to work while you're working on the nail plate. So you can remove all of that dead yeah. skin really easily. I know some of you are thinking, how do you know how much to trim off? Sometimes you have to just go really slow and take off a tiny bit at a time until you remove enough of that stuff that's stuck underneath of the toenail out of there so you can see how far. But it's always safe to go nice and slow 
and even you might have to go back and trim it a little bit more after you've cleaned out some of the dead skin. And I know just by looking at this big toenail, it appears that it's just got this great big orangish yellow stain on it, right? But really, that stuff I'm pulling out right there is so compacted, it's completely all underneath that patch that's all lifted off of her nail bed. And when I show you the before and after pictures at the end, you'll be able to see the cavity that is left behind when all of that stuff came out. And when you're working with toenails like this, it can be pretty overwhelming. So just stick to the steps. Don't think about anything else. Step one, step two, step three, step four. Because by the time you get to the end, you're going to be shocked at what you've accomplished. So just don't think about anything else. Just do the steps in order. 16 years. I don't know if you could hear her question, but she asked me how long I had owned my salon for, and I said 16 years. And I'm really proud to say that in just two more payments, we're gonna have the mortgage on the salon paid off. I used to have psoriasis on my skin, but it went, when it turned into arthritis, it all went away on my skin. inflammation, something in my body, it's autoimmune that causes inflammation and at one point it was just causing it on the surface of the skin and then at some point it went internally and then attacks the joints. got great creams that do help. I know. It never looks like there's that much when it's I know. not and then soggy. You start doing it and you're like, yeah. oh my gosh. You've seen me use different bits on the electric file and other videos, but this is an extra fine, and even though it does remove a tiny bit of thickness, it really is just meant for buffing because I'm really not concerned too much about removing thickness from her toenails. I'm just concerned about smoothing the surface and getting off any of that adhered skin that's still left on it. And, you know, thinking about on her next visit if there's any thickness because all of that packed material that's under her toenails, I really need to determine if that's actual toenail thickness or if it's something under her toenail. Because if you think that it's toenail and you start filing away at it, you could file their whole toenail off. So you do not want to do that. So it's always safe to just buff the surface and then on their next visit, you can determine if it's true toenail thickness or if it was stuff that was underneath the toenail. And especially on this toenail, you're not gonna believe how much stuff came out from underneath this toenail and that it, this is not toenail thickness at all.
I just have to add that it took a lot of courage for my client to finally say, hey, I want someone to help me with my toenail situation. And if it weren't for people like her, I wouldn't be able to share these real life situations with you. I applaud her so much for coming in and allowing me to share her experience with the world. When I started, I just went to nail school. Okay. It's a shorter course. Okay. But then I went back and got my full cosmetology license when I wanted to um, open my salon. Okay. I did an apprenticeship program and got my full cosmetology license so I could make sure that I was, I knew everything to meet all the girls' needs. Yes. <laughs> yes. Nails is where I can make the biggest difference. Hi, Mom. <laughs> she says, hi, Mom. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> All right, bye. How's that feel? for when you put that stuff on it because I want it to go underneath the toenail. Okay. Really if I had some pain I'd be like, do what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> you would tough it out. <laughs> I don't think sometimes people pay attention to the angle of the tool and they slide it in the wrong way. You know, you have to pay right. attention when it's flat, it goes in a certain way. Right. Grab a hold, pull it out the same way you put it in so you're not twisting it underneath the nail.
Does it smell? No, not at all. It can be. Depending on the shape, I guess. Yes. In all the years that I've been doing this, I maybe have gotten like one stinky butt. Oh. Yeah. Rubbing off the callus remover and all of the dead skin that it, it dissolved with the towel is very important before you start to file with your foot file. If you don't, all the slippery skin will just clog up your nail file and it won't be able to use the friction to rub off any of the skin. Has it what? It's under, it's in the toenail and okay. underneath the toenail. The toenail's okay. detached from the okay. nail bed. Wow. Yeah. But it will reattach as I it grows I mean, out. Like if it comes down here, that's bad. But it doesn't matter. Like in, like in, in here, it doesn't matter. Like if it gets all the way back to your cuticle, your nail will probably fall off. Yeah. I can only take five pedicures a day just because it's too hard on my body and yeah. then the rest are uh, manicures and acrylic nails. Okay. So I do between 11 and 13 people a day. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Else's nails. <laughs> yeah, most of my clients are standing appointments. Wow. So they are here every two weeks or every four weeks. Wow. I've been doing the same people for 20 years. Wow. same kind of thing it's a diamond bit so it'll kind of tickle but it won't hurt you
too ticklish. I know, I'm trying not to jump. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's not, it's not too bad. Terrible. Yours are going to be really good toes to follow. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So for the first month, I don't want you to put any polish on. Okay. So we, we can put the medicine on the toenail okay. so it can soak in better. And then you'll see a bigger difference right. faster. Sometimes podiatrists don't even try to treat it because they know people won't put it on every day. Right. And you have to put it on every day. Twice a day, isn't it? And you have to use it until the nails are completely grown out because they'll just be, start going backwards again. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, like people will go, oh look, they look so much better. I'm all done using the topical stuff. Nope. No, nope, nope, it's still in your nail. It's going to still keep right. yeah, affecting it. So. That stuff smells so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just put um, eight ounce jars on my online store because everybody <laughs> always asks about it. I know, I'm looking at my toe like, is that my foot? <laughs> After it got another little bath, got everything rinsed out of the cracks. Yeah. So, so, nice. so you're going to take home the Fisher cream and you're going to put it on your heels and the ball of your foot. Okay. It's going to work out all of this dirt that's embedded in your cracks okay. so the cracks can heal. They okay. will not heal with that discoloration embedded inside the cracks. Okay. I tell you, it's the best time to use it, or not? Well, I would use it when you brush your teeth morning and night. Oh, gotcha, okay. Put it right next to the toothpaste <laughs> to remind okay, you. Well do. <laughs> you have or have I think so. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> right around here. I go to work and home, and right. work and home, and work and home. <laughs> I'm here long hours. gratification right. I think for me and for you right right for 
feel strange. I've got some really extreme before and afters coming up. I've seen her three times now, so I'm going to show you the before, the after the first pedicure, then the after the second pedicure, and then the after the third pedicure, and the before and after of the cracks in her foot with the black in it, before and after, and the before and after of the right foot. Probably just gotten so used. To, I don't know. I know. <laughs> and I'm sure that they're all different. Right. This is before we got started. After I took the polish off. After I'm finished with the first pedicure before I started the second month pedicure. You can see all of that stuff came out from underneath her toenails. This is after the second pedicure. See how thin that third toenail is? It's a good thing I didn't try to thin the thickness on the first pedicure when she came in. This is after the third pedicure. This is before she started the Fisher cream treatment, and this is before her second pedicure. So all of that dirt and stuff and the cracks were able to start healing up at home. And those were the before and after of her right foot. Here you can see the progress a little bit better. Before, after the first pedicure, after the second pedicure, and after the third pedicure using Imperial Feet Nail Mycosis. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my channel. You can visit my social media sites to follow and interact, and I would really appreciate it so much if you would click that share button and share your favorite videos to help me grow my channel. Here are some other great video suggestions for you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.